Hi guys, um, I'm going to title this one, Through It All, I've Learned to Trust in Jesus. I'm going to make these real brief, and then I'm going to watch the clock too. But, so anyhow, so I can put them on both Facebook and Instagram. But five months ago, I had some balance problems, really bad. And went to the doctor, long story short, they finally figured out what it was, three MRIs and months later, I had had some strokes. The Lord even warned me about that. And it had wiped out part of my brain where the balance is. So, I'd be walking along, guys, and my leg would just fold. Like it didn't even exist. Um, and I'd hit the ground. Where was that? Dude, I thought, this isn't going to work. What if it happened in public? I'm going to break my neck, a bone, an arm, whatever. Embarrassing. Not going to work. But this is what I tell people. And that's why I call it through it all. I've learned to trust in Jesus. I've learned to trust in the Lord. I ministered this at a homeless shelter in downtown Dallas. So if you're ever in Dallas and want to come, just contact us via email. Um, youngstromsteve at gmail.com. Or show up if you're in Dallas. Call us, whatever. But. On one hand, this might tell people and the ministry, that on one hand, it really sucks. I'm accepting what the enemy put on me. Even though it's just natural and physical bodies wear out. Could be the enemy, it could be just whatever. Not a punishment from the Lord. But that's not who he is. So, but I tell him that, told him, I said, don't let these cir don't let circumstances define you. We all have them. This is one of mine. So it really sucks. On this hand, on this hand. But on the other hand, this is where I got this. I learned to trust in Jesus. I learned to trust in God. I literally learned to trust in Jesus. For every step I took, guys, because I didn't know if I was going to have the next one, or if it was going to exist, or if I was going to hit the ground running. Sorry, that stupid phone, I forgot to put it on silent. So, when I was praying, and that's how I got this, I was like singing, crying out to God. I started singing that song, but I only sang it one verse. Through it all, I've learned to trust in Jesus. I've learned to trust in God. So that's what I'm saying, guys. Whatever it is that's going on in your life, I've got some other issues too, but that's one of them. Look at the one about, well, it's on Instagram. I think I did put one on YouTube, but it was about the brain too. Well, I guess I probably should put that one on YouTube too, so I, I probably will next. Um, did struck really had some effects on me, you know? But, through it all, I learned to trust in Jesus. I learned to trust in God. Now I'm in therapy and things seem to, you know, I haven't fell in a couple months. It still hurts. But it's like that issue's gone past. So I'm going to end with this. I've had some miraculous healings. One of them at the shelter itself, where a bunch of homeless people prayed for me. I had a bone sticking out of my foot, literally. The mu muscle on top of my foot melted away. Literally, it was gone. And the doctor being giving me this perplexed look to know what to do. I think I was a specialist. And it was Sunday. Six Advils a day, Tylenol, ibuprofen. I mean, I, I, I would say that. Ad, ad, I, yeah, ibuprofen. Just, man, it hurt. I'm like, Honey called 911 telling me to cut my foot off because I'm tired of jacking with this. This was a couple years ago. So I know it's always into a purpose. So, still the same thing. Through it all, I learned to trust in Jesus. Service was over. I was going to call for prayer. Barely got the words out. Some heavy set black homeless lady stood up. Said, Can we pray for your foot? I told him, I said the same thing two years ago. Don't let the circumstance define who you are. Similar message. 
sure. They pray for my foot. They go on the ground and pray for my foot. Guys crawl around on the ground and pray for my foot. Like 10, 12 of them. Sunday, Tuesday came, I canceled the appointment. The bone dropped back down. It was literally sticking up. You could see it. It hurt. God, it's bad. I don't know what happened. The bone went back. I don't know what happened to the muscle. Don't really care. Hadn't hurt. I couldn't even put my shoes on. It was like that bad. I haven't had any problems in the last two years. So, through it all, I've learned to trust in Jesus. Thanks. Um, and just tune in. Tune in to my other one, really, because um, I'm going to give a 30-second speech on this. The Lord dealt with me about trusting in Him. And this was part of it, but He told me to... He said, Steve, do you trust me? Oh, yes, Lord. We want some of the same on the same themes and lines and prayers and things that were going on at the time. He said, then feed my sheep. So He's got me on this Bible drive, guys. And now i got to... Facebook just exploded with a bunch of people from overseas. I got a couple, and all of a sudden it's like 150 of them. I don't even know who they are. A lot of them. But. So, maybe I'm going to send Bibles to them too. But I need Bibles, guys. Go to Half Price Books. You can get them on clearance for three bucks. Media mail's cheap. If you're here in Dallas, just bring them to us. Email me. I'll tell you how to get them to us. Um, I need Bibles, guys. Because I'm going to give them up to homeless prisoners and my next step is to hook up with which if any of you know one a good Christian place that helps women that are contemplating abortion I want to get the word out guys this, this, he's been just, let's go and call feed my sheep I need Bibles guys badly many as you can bring me I'll stack on my garage I could wipe out 30 to 50 Bibles a week at the homeless shelter alone. So, I need a lot of Bibles, guys. Just send them or, you know, whatever. Just email me and I'll give you some more scoop. Or look at some of my other sites. The one, Jesus is Alive in America on Squarespace. And it's got a place where you can, you know, contact me. So, anyhow, I love you guys. Uh, see you soon.